This is Servant Marcia Carney with Escape to Heaven. Spirit of the Lord is upon me. His anointing is empowering. The kingdom of the Lord is within me. And He's calling me. Tallahassee. Ah, wake up, wake up. It's time to believe that in the midst of all of these changes that you can really still be blessed. I want to say to the Lord, Lord, I want to be blessed. You're listening to Wave 94, 94.1 Heaven on Earth Ministries of Jesus Christ. Servant Marcia saying, escape to heaven because you can. And guess what heaven means to most of us? Heaven means a place where we are just continuously blessed. I was um, very interested this morning. And well, what does that mean? Blessed. I am so blessed. You know, we're good at saying, well, how are you doing? I'm blessed. Well, what does that mean? I mean, I want to be blessed. I want to stay blessed. I want to live in the, the city of blessings or the continual existence of being blessed. And, um, God showed that that was his original intent for mankind because as he created, uh, Adam, because he was created first before he was made. The Bible lets us know in Genesis uh, that God blessed them to take dominion and, and uh, you know, to replenish the earth and to multiply. So blessings mean, in my mind, like a type of empowerment and walking in the favor of God. Amen. And um, so when we look in the Bible, we'll see that, um, uh, Genesis 28, it's an invocation. May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful. And over in Deuteronomy, we're going to look at Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, where it lets us know that blessings also brings victory, affluence, um, even and um, as we talk to the Lord sometime, we'll say, oh, Lord, Bless me, bless my soul, and I, I, you know, forget not. I won't forget your benefits, Amen. And there are benefits in being blessed, Amen. And um, even the Lord told Abraham that He was going to bless the entire world uh, through the lineage of Abraham. And um, Jesus came, and Jesus let us know, and He's He's really the true blessing of all. I mean, He is, in fact, the manifestation of uh, the fruit of Abraham loins to bless the entire world, and and Jesus blesses us with the gift of forgiveness of our sins and every spiritual blessing. Oh my God, even that we're able to inherit the blessings promised through the patriarchs. And that would be Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And as a result of you and I as believers receiving God's blessings uh, in Christ, then we are now the source of blessing to the entire world. So we are walking temples of blessings. Amen. Uh, I, I, I'm going to talk more. I want to talk more about blessings because that's what the Bible is all about. It starts out with God himself uh, blessing the creation that he made in his image and likeness. And then the complete fall away, starting with Adam, but many, 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 many times over throughout the generations and up to today, you know, just because we refuse to be obedient or to accept God's way of life. And so as a result, we are not like blessed in most instances, but the Bible shows us how God himself 
is so sincere about blessing you and I that he develop a plan and the plan is, is going for it. I mean, it still stands. It's standing. And you and I are watching it even today. I mean, as recently as September 8th, when the queen, Queen Elizabeth passed on and, um, I mean, she reigned for 70 years and I don't want to go into all of the numerology and this, that and the other. I just want to keep talking about how God is a God that at the end of the day, we will all be blessed that choose to be blessed in Revelations and, and Isaiah and Daniel and Zechariah. So let's go to Psalms, the first chapter. Easy way to start. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. I was in a donut place this morning, and a little girl ran up to me and said, what can you tell me to read in the Bible? And this is what the Lord led me to. And I told her, look, if you want to be blessed all of your life, here's what to do. Delight in the law of the Lord, and in His law meditate. Think about the Word of God day and night, and as a result, you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bring forth fruit in your season, and your leaf will never wither, and whatsoever you do will prosper. So what does that phrase mean? It means that in your season of fruitfulness, because just think about it, we're born we, we are a little baby, we become a toddler, a young person, then a teenager. In certain stages of life, you're not really producing, but you are being nurtured. But once you get to the point where you're old enough that you can now produce, the word of God is saying delight in the law of the law, the law of the Lord. And by you doing this, that you will prosper. You will bring forth fruit when it's time for you to bring the fruit forth. And uh, if you're ungodly, then you're not like that. You're just going to be thrown away with the wind. But the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. Okay. Uh, the other thing about blessings is um, if we look at, I believe it was Psalms, the... I think it was the third chapter. It says um, here, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of mine head. So blessings means if you're blessed and things happen in life that depress you and so forth, God himself will lift up your head. That means he will put joy in your heart and he will encourage you. And when you cry unto the Lord with your voice, the Lord will hear you out of his holy hill. And then you'll be able to lay down and sleep. And uh, and why? Because God himself will sustain you. And that is in Psalms, the third chapter. Also, the Lord, when you're blessed, he eradicates fear. Psalms, the third chapter, verse number six says, I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people that have set themselves against me round about. So, you know, in the Bible, it says how one casts out a thousand, two casts out 10,000. Well, that verse right there, uh, it leads me to think that when God is with you, it is you and God. And guess what? Two cast out. The Bible says, I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people. Why? The Lord is with me. Amen. So arise, O Lord, save me. O oh my God, salvation belong unto the Lord and blessings is upon God's people. I think today I want to choose you, I, you, know, you kind of choose to be blessed or cursed by your actions. So if you would um, become righteous, meaning that if you would reconcile with God, live your life in the way that God himself wants you to live, then you will be considered righteous. And therefore, you are reconciled unto the Lord. Amen. Uh, Psalms, the fourth chapter, it says, hear me. 
when I call, O God, thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. So have mercy upon me. Hear my prayer. O you sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? So I, I, I didn't really understand how leasing is a bad thing, but I guess leasing means that you're going after a temporary truth instead of permanent truth, you know, because the Lord himself is uh, eternal. His truth is eternal. And what God does in Psalms, the fourth chapter, verse number seven, it says, thou has put gladness in my heart and therefore I will lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. So one of another blessing is the Lord himself will make you have peace in your heart. And all the things that are coming at you every day, it will not matter because God has put peace in your heart and you will be able to sleep. Amen. Psalms, the seventh chapter says, O Lord, my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. So um, our God is able to deliver us from all of the confusions and the people that are against us. And that's why if you choose to be blessed, because you notice I said if, because it is a matter of you choosing that I want to be blessed. But if you would choose that, then uh, God himself will be your defender and he will protect you and he will be your your advocate and he will actually uh, be the one that will uh, put an army around you and therefore no one and nothing will be able to permanently harm you. Uh, Psalms, the 11th chapter, I'm just kind of going through Psalms today uh, for the moment to let us understand what does it mean to be blessed. Um, the Lord is in his holy temple. His throne is in heaven, but his eyes behold the children of men. So while he's looking down upon the earth, the righteous is the ones that God love. Amen. And, um, God will make certain that the godly man does not cease. Uh, the Lord will, um, again, he will defend us. He will hear us. He will lighten your eyes. I mean, he will extend mercy, grace. Uh, it's a good thing to decide to be blessed. Psalms 21, it says that, and, and when I read this, I'm kind of thinking about Queen Elizabeth. I don't know her. I never met her. Uh, my mom was always very much enthralled with her. But uh, let's just read the Bible, what it says. It says, the queen slash king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation greatly shall he rejoice. You will give him his heart's desire, and you will bless him with blessings of goodness, crown of pure gold on his head. The king asks life of God, and God will give it, even the length of days. And um, his glory in thy salvation, honor, and majesty has thou laid upon him, for thou hast made him most blessed forever. I don't know anything about the queen, but I think she lived a very, very long time. And uh, she did have a crown on her head. And, you know, it seemed like the Lord protected her for quite a while. So it, it doesn't matter what our social class is. The point is, if you and I were to trust in the Lord, amen, then through the mercy of God himself, we will be blessed. And um, I was looking in the dictionary trying to figure out, well, what do they feel blessed? What does that word mean? And I found some uh, synonyms. And uh, some of those synonyms are uh, highly favored, uh, happy. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see what else I can find. But blessings are, uh, it's, it's like good, 
It's it's not bad. It's all good things. Strength, bravery. Um, you're born with advantage, gain. Uh, okay, special favor, mercy, benefit, favor, or a gift bestowed by God, thereby bringing happiness. Invocation of God's favor upon a person, praise, devotion, worship, approval, or good wishes. Bless is good. And so I cry out to the Lord again, Lord, I want to be blessed. I don't want to live on this earth uh, being cursed. I want to be blessed because God, you gave me when, well, it's very simple. When God created mankind, he blessed us. And by choice, we went a different path without disobedience. If we are to look at Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and again, we're listening to escape to heaven. And what do we mean when we say heaven? We mean escape to a good place where there's no, to, no crime, no tears, no sadness, <laughs> you know. Just a place of being continuously blessed. Deuteronomy 28 chapter says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments, which are commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So one of the expectations you should have as a blessed person is exaltation by the Lord himself. You should expect that because why? That's a part of being blessed. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So that, uh, that the, pre the presupposition is that you are in a position where you can hear God. And you can't hear God if there's a whole lot of sin and disobedience in your life. Because even the Lord himself says in Isaiah, I, I might, let me just turn there. I think it's Isaiah 59 or something like that, where he says about, you know, what separates me. Let me see if that's it. Yeah. Isaiah 59, verse number one, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, but your iniquities. And the word iniquities is like greater than just sinfulness because it means that you know better. You've been raised to do better, but you literally choose to do a different way. So your iniquities have separated between you and and your God and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear for your hands are defiled with blood fingers with iniquity lips have spoken lies tongue has mothered perverseness. That's what the Lord means. Your feet run to evil, make haste to shed innocent blood. Your thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction and the way of peace you do not know. That's what God means. If you're living that kind of life where you're causing confusion everywhere you go, then you're not walking in peace and reconciliation with God. And therefore, when you pray, well, he can't hear you because you have done things that have forced separation between you and the Lord. So... In order for you to be blessed, you have to be able to hear the voice of the Lord. I think this is a good moment to just forgive and uh, to repent and say, Lord, forgive me for being separated from you and uh, repent of your way of life and come back to the Lord. Amen. So blessed shall you be in the city and in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of the ground and the fruit of the cattle and blessed shall be your basket and your store. Blessed shall thou be when they come in and blessed you shall be when you go out 
and the Lord, you'll know you're blessed when the Lord calls your enemies, okay, that rise up against you to be smitten before your face, okay? And the Lord shall command blessings upon you in your storehouses, and that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land that he gives you. So wherever you're living, whatever job you're going to or community you're in, God will bless you. The Lord shall establish you as a holy person. Okay? So as he has sworn unto thee, if you'll keep the commandments of the Lord and walk in his ways. And then everyone around you will say, wow, you're blessed. All people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous. So God himself is making sure that you live in a state of abundance. And and believers and, and saints of God, when God has blessed us with abundance, it's not for us to hoard it. It's for us to bless others. Amen. Go out in the street. Go find the less fortunate and give it away. Yes. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give rain, to bless all the work of thy hand. And you will be the lender, not the borrower. I'm living like that. So I didn't always live like this as a blessed person, but I am now. And if I can do it, then I know God can do the same thing for you. God will make you the head and not the tail, okay? That thou shall be above only, thou shall not be beneath. And uh, all you would need to do is hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God. Amen? And um, as long as you do that, then the Lord shall continually bless you. And some of us might say, well, what are the commandments, you know, what are they? I I don't have them all in front of me, but we know quite a bit. We know thou shall not steal, thou shall not kill, thou shall not have another God before thee. Amen. Remember that? Honor thy mother and thy father, so that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Um, shall not lie. So... Even Jesus gave us like these two commandments. He said, uh, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind, thy might, and love thy neighbor as you love yourself. And he said, upon this, all of the laws and the prophets, this is the foundation. And so this is what God is uh, saying unto us. You want to be blessed, then pursue the Lord. Pursue the things of the Lord. And that way, you can walk in blessings. When Jesus was on the earth, I was in Israel several years ago, and I went to where he um, did that teaching. He was um, on this mountain, and he taught about blessings, you know. He said, blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven, meaning that you're seeking after the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Look at there. See, what you're putting out, you're getting back. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for God's sake, for Jesus' sake. You shall be blessed, rejoice, and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Amen. So the point is, you can choose today. Some people say, oh, the man, oh, the this, oh, the that, and this is what happened to me. But so what? Everything has happened to all of us. 
Make a decision to forgive those that have harmed you. Forgive yourself for all the wrong you did to yourself. And decide today that I want to be blessed. Lord, will you bless me indeed? I believe that was a prayer by Jabez. He said, bless me indeed. And what that meant is regardless of my circumstance, regardless of my past, regardless of my lineage, regardless of any and everything that has come against me, I want you to bless me, Father, indeed, as you did with your original intent towards mankind. You're really saying to the Lord, do not look at all that stuff. That has happened to me, but instead go back to the original blessing that you put upon Adam and father, let it manifest in my life. Today, I pray for Radio Land that this little word means something to you. We do not understand what does it mean for Queen Elizabeth to pass on? I don't know. I mean, there are so many theories out there, but I think what's important is that you decide that you are going to talk to the Father and you are going to say, Abba, bless me indeed. Bless my family, bless my seed, bless my hands, bless my businesses, bless my children, bless my mother, my father, my relatives, bless the city that I'm in, the community, bless all that pertains to me and you, Lord God. Blessings is what I Declare and decree in reconciliation, in righteousness with the creator of heaven and earth. Father God, I ask you to look down upon those in Radio Land today. And Lord, extend to us the spirit of blessings. God, give us the ability and the capacity to receive your blessings. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And uh, to Radio Land. I said, now you have a new beginning. And I want you to say to yourself constantly, I am blessed. No matter what happens, you get a bill in the mail, I am blessed. You get some kind of bad news, I am blessed. You don't understand your children or your spouses, I am blessed. And continually declare and decree the blessings of the Lord upon your life. And surely you will see it manifest right now. Amen. God bless you. Heaven on Earth Ministries of Jesus Christ saying, I can't wait to see you next week because you and I can escape to heaven. The state, the condition of being blessed. Amen. Bye. Anybody